Uh, we're on parent functions and we're looking at the quartic function. Uh, your parent function is the y equals x to the fourth. Uh, you could also, instead of calling it quartic, you could say, you know, fourth degree. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, basically, you look at it, it's going to look a lot like your parabola, only wider at the bottom. I don't know, it kind of looks like a mason jar a little bit. Uh, so, your domain on this one, what's your domain going to be? X is an element of the reals. X is an element of the reals. All real numbers. Any real number you could plug into this puppy. Your range, that's when you look uh, high and low to see what your numbers can be. My graph's y not really good. Y is greater than or equal to zero. Y is greater than or equal to zero. Y is an element of the reals. Just means any real number, zero or bigger, will work for that. And my graph really isn't very good because it looks like it crosses, but it doesn't. It's an optical delusion. Okay, what's your y-intercept? Um, it is zero zero. zero. What's your x-intercept? Zero zero. It's going to be zero zero as well. Only zero zero? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, even though my graph is horrible, and the one in the book is thick, but that's because they use a big, they're going by twos, if you'll notice, on the vertical oh, axes okay. to help you see it spread out more. Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't notice as well. Okay? Um, symmetry. Uh, the symmetry on this puppy is going to be the y-axis. If you were to fold it over the y-axis, it would land exactly right on top of one another. Mm -hmm. As far as asymptotes, this graph has no asymptotes whatsoever. None. None. All right, we're going to talk about graphs of intervals of increase and decrease. And again, our important point is going to be at zero as far as the x-axis is concerned. What is happening to the graph as I'm going from negative infinity up to zero? What's it's happening? Decreasing. It's decreasing. decreasing. What's happening as I'm going from zero and across? Increasing. Increasing. Okay, excellent. So, intervals of increase. My increase is going to be from zero to infinity. Uh -huh. My decrease is going to be from negative infinity up to zero. Again, these aren't points. They're the intervals on the x-axis where that business is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, relative local maximum, there is no maximum on this graph. Relative local minimum, there is a minimum. It would be zero, zero. Zero, zero. zero, zero. Minimum, minimum. Do, 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 do. I love that song. I do, too. And oh, that's why we like math. Minimum, minimum. Do, do, How, do, what do, does do. that have to do with math? I'm saying minimum. Minimum, minimum. Oh, Okay, where is it increasing and decreasing the whole thing? Okay, concavity mm -hmm. is the whole enchilada. Okay, um, just because it goes from decreasing to increasing didn't mean its concavity changed whatsoever. It's just yeah. concave for the whole enchilada. So on your interval of concavity, you will do from uh, negative infinity all the way up to infinity. Intervals of concave downward, there are none. It is not concave downward anywhere. Points of inflection. It does not change concavity, so there is no point of inflection. That would be a none. End behavior. As x approaches negative infinity, that means as x goes this way, what's y doing? Going up. Okay, so, so y infinity. approaches positive infinity. Positive infinity. Correct. As x approaches positive infinity, what is y positive doing? Positive infinity. Positive infinity. Remember again, even functions. Remember this is like an even function. If it starts high, it ends high. Remember all that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll turn it. Alternate forms of the equation, there are a couple of them this time. Your first one is yeah. going to be the one you would be most familiar with. A, parenthesis, x minus h, quantity raised to the fourth, plus k. The h will shift your graph left and right. The k will make it up and down. The a affects whether it's skinny or wide, opens up or down. All right? Mm -hmm. The other form, which is more of a general form, is going to look like this. Ax to the fourth plus bx cubed, plus cx squared, plus dx, plus e. And it's just alphabetical. Uh, if you wanted to look at it similar to your quadratic, quadratic looks like ax squared plus bx plus c, mm -hmm. same type of thing. Okay, anytime you're doing a polynomial, you go up one degree in function, you just add another letter. Good to go on that one? Mm -hmm. All right, up at the top underneath the graph, it says locator points. One of your locator points is at 0, 0. That's if you just have the parent function. If you have the one that it has a vertex at hk, then of course your locator point would be at hk. HK. All right, thank you.